Well, uh, uh, this is very similar to what Andrew had to say. Basically, it's going to add some display information into the facets side of the page. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you our catalog. Maybe we can show that later. But uh, if you're familiar with Voyager 7, if you look at a bib display, um, you'll see the main information on the right-hand side and the facets information on the left-hand side, or excuse me, vice versa on the right-hand side. And uh, so we want to add a few more information like we had similar in version 6. And so one of the things that we had was a direct link to Amazon and uh, Barnes and Noble and other things like that based on the ISBN. And so they actually, if you look at the documentation in, vo in virgin, version 7, they give you a sample of how to pull out the ISBN. And so I, I took that sample, um, and it, it, through the normal uh, course of uh, Voyager 7, it calls this thing called the display facets that builds that side page. And here's the source code for it. And as you can see, I added a couple things where it's going to call my two programs right after it calls the Google Books as well. That's the link to it and actually does the call down toward the bottom. So if this, is, this is one of the ex libris programs and I'm just adding to it uh, where I'm going to say do, do some extra things as well. Uh, and one of those things um, let me go back here. Is to call this little script that, uh, as you can see, it actually goes out and pulls out the O2O, which is the ISBN, uh, through this little process. So all, all of a sudden you think, holy cow, if I can pull out any um, mark tag out of the record and do something extra with it, well, that gives me a whole lot of power to do just about anything in that page fastest display. And so what I'm doing is fairly simple. Uh, first, I throw up uh, our floor plan image no matter what, whether I just, this is just a good place to put it over on the page facet side. And this is just a little image to say where all the call numbers on what floor are. So I'm going to show that every time, no matter what. But uh, the second part is I'm going to actually test to see if it actually returned an ISBN. If it did return an ISBN, I'm going to make a link to Amazon with that ISBN number, which is that piece of code right there. And again, I test it. Because if there's no ISBN, there's no sense putting up a link there on the side, on the page facet side. And so the only trick behind here is um, that ISBN could be a 13-digit ISBN or it could be a 10-digit ISBN. And Amazon in the past has only worked with 10-digit ISBNs. So what I do is actually call my own little script here on a Windows server called Amazon2.asp, and I pass it the ISBN. And, uh, which I have the source code for that as well. It's a fairly simple little script, just grabs it, and it ignores the first three characters of the ISBN, the 978, which I think is a standard prefix, and it recalculates the last digit, which is a check digit, which is different, so you have to recalculate it to go back to the 10-digit ISBN. And in the end, it does the actual call, and using some JavaScript, it'll submit that URL to uh, Amazon with that ISBN. So it's fairly simple. Nothing what I'm doing here is exactly rocket science. But the reason I wanted to show you this is just it's like a gateway. Once you figure out how you can pull a, you know, any mark tag out of a record during a display and do something with it on the page facet side, then you know, all kinds of interesting possibilities come up. And this is one of the great things I like about Voyager 7, you know, the flexibility of it. Okay? You know, the whole concept, really, at least in my mind, of Primo and, and the ones like it, is all the faceting that you can do and all the added information that comes along with, besides just displaying a bib record. Holy cow, I want to find out more about what's going on in the world of, you know, not only just book covers and reviews and things like that. I want to find out stuff uh, related to what's in Wikipedia, maybe, or what's in Google, or other sources. So now you figure out, if I've got this record, then maybe I could take the subject headings from that record, just like I pulled out the ISBN. And maybe I'll go out to Wikipedia and bring up the links to all the Wikipedia subject headings that came up on that display. Using this whole same concept, it's a piece of cake. Because once you learn how to do one thing, then you can pull out any mark tag and make the links to all kinds of places. And I think really that's the whole concept behind Primo, is this all this faceting that you can do. So, you know, again, you're sort of making a gateway. You're not just making a link to, you know, in this case, an Amazon book cover and you know, a link to reviews and things like that. 
you're thinking about all the kind of possibilities that you can come up with to get all kinds of side information related to whatever they were searching for. And you know, one of the things that I notice, and, and you know, I'm our sysadmin, I would run the Voyager server, the hardware stuff itself, and I keep track of you know, who's using the catalog, whether the hits are going up or going down. And the last couple of years, I've seen a trend where they're actually starting to go down a little bit. They're using our catalog a little bit less than they've used it in the past. Well, if I can give them more information, maybe the top five hits out of Google. So maybe I can use some Ajax code and grab that subject heading or that title that they were searching for, go out and pick out the, the top five things out of Google, pick out some Wikipedia information, show it all right there. Maybe instead of going to Google or going to Wikipedia first, they go to the catalog first. Because not only do they get the book information, they get maybe some ebook information or maybe some journal information, but maybe some stuff that they would do in, in Google or Wikipedia or wherever else. So all of a sudden now it's a gateway that says, holy cow, you know, why go to just one source when I get it all when I go to the catalog? So again, you know, what I'm doing here is not rocket science, but it's just a little gateway that says, you know, this just opens up all kinds of possibilities. So that's really why I wanted to show this today. And uh, sorry I can't show it on the actual catalog. And, we've, and one of the nice things about our catalog is all the third-party tools that we've put in it. I mean, we just came up with this in, in January. And Jim Robson has some <laughs> fantastic tools. And I think I've got everything that you've written in our catalog. And uh, the new books thing from Michael is, is, is incredibly good in Voyager 7. He had that long before you know, almost anybody had Voyager 7 up. I was amazed how, how good that was right out of the bat. But there's all kinds of possibilities. And you know, if you look at our OPAC versus somebody else's OPAC, it looks very different. Just because you know, all the stuff in CSS and XSL that you can change, you know, it's amazing. I'm, I'm really you know, happy with the product. And I think I sent a note out on Voyager L, but you know how happy I was with it. Because you know, it really is very impressive. So uh, that's basically all I had to say. <laughs>